Lori from Paragon, and today I want to give you a quick tip on how you can put a breed profile pattern on a mixed breed. So um, they, the, the pet parents of this dog like the longer furnishing, so I'm going to go ahead and put a short legged terrier pattern trim on this dog. Um, you can tell even with the pricked ears that this dog does resemble more of that short legged terrier like the West Highland White Terrier. Um, so I'm going to show you where those lines will go. On the front, um, we're always going to want to expose this muscle on most patterns. Um, you can feel that muscle, you can feel how it starts to turn. As it's starting to turn is going to be where our line is. So I'm using two guard. I'm going to come through, I'm feeling that muscle turning, and I'm going to feather off. That's going to help with the blending. I'm, being, I'm exaggerating this move, but it's kind of like you're kind of feathering off, flicking your clipper. That's going to be the front muscle. I'm then going to go ahead and take on the back. You're going to feel for that muscle again as that muscle turns. So I'm going to come around as it turns and feather off. And then what I'm going to do is almost the highest point of the rib. So you're going to come in, feather off at that highest point. And everything up here is going to go. You see that I'm going to go with the grain or with the way that the coat lays. In the front, I'm going to find that breastbone. And I'm going to go about a couple of fingers from that breastbone. So they, it's almost right where that colic line is. Again, coming. and feathering off. So the pattern line is set now. Um, go ahead and grab your notes from the grooming table. This is the pattern you'll see under the West Highland White Terrier. Um, people are confused with the notes from the grooming table. There's two lines. So which line do you go to? Um, the answer to the question is that the, in between those lines is your blending area. So you can, again, based on your dog, um, you can kind of go in and come just above where you would stop so that you do have that blending room. You have a little bit of blending room and you don't take a really uh, tight dive into where that pattern line should be because if it was in the front, it would look where you, would, it'd be really short right here and it would almost kind of break your, the body from the leg. So um, in notes from the grooming table, those two lines, that's kind of your blending area kind of your buffer area.